Greetings, I am Eric the Red, this is Crypto for the Caffeinated. Let's get started, shall we? I know in the last video I didn't, uh, I didn't specify the price of Bitcoin, and I'm not going to today either, because, well, the last two days have been very volatile in the cryptocurrency market, and I woke up to a message from a friend of mine telling me that Bitcoin was down near 8,500, which, you know, given a week, even two weeks ago, it was 10, 1,200. It's, it's a big sell-off. There's a big panic. And a lot of people are going home and rethinking their life. But I'm not going to do that. I've still got this build, and I'm going to finish it. Believe it or not. In the last video... We put our fans into the case. It's not the cleanest setup. We've got these wires hanging out. So we're going to have to figure out something to do with those. But more or less, we have the major components in terms of the computer hardware inside the case, except for the SSD, which is no big deal. But we've got our power supply, we've got our board, our RAM, our CPU and cooling fan, and now our system fans. So we're getting somewhere. Ugh. More burps. More burps. And before I get started, I just want to uh, mention or comment about a comment I got. Comment about a comment I got. I can think. I are words. So, my good friend Josh, who has been a valuable resource to me when I started down this road, um, brought up the importance of power management and being mindful of the energy that you are using to mine said currency. And one of the best tools that you can do, or one of the best tools that you can do, one of the best tools available is this cheap little device here, which is called a kilowatt. And what this does is it lets you plug any device, any electrical device, in right here. And you can get information about voltage and amperage and how much electricity you're actually using. So you can go by what the box says, but at the end of the day, running your system through one of these is the best way to get accurate numbers as to what you're spending on electricity so you can subtract that from what you are generating in revenue in Bitcoin. So you have your Bitcoin minus your electrical cost equals your profit. And this little tool here, this kilowatt uh, P3 that I'm using is great. It's cheap. And I think it's good to have one of these around the house anyway, in case you have issues with phantom draw or something along those lines. It's just a good thing to have in your toolkit. So we're gonna have this attached to our system once we get it done. I think our best bet now is to begin something. I'm at a weird place in the build. Um, too early to put the cards in, but uh, I just, how it is right now. It's like, oh, it's built. I can look at it. Hey, it's not running. Uh, what am I going to do? Getting started again is the hardest thing. And it's it's simple. It's, it's because this whole frame and everything is so new and this whole thing. It's different from building a PC. I would have had that shit done. But this is just like, oh, look at it. I'm this far along. Isn't it nice? Indeed. Okay. Enough talking, enough bitching. Let's reach down here. We have two big components that are gonna have to go in and that's the power cable and our SSD. So I think we will see about putting the SSD in here somewhere. As to where, I don't know. Maybe I should wait on that. Oh God, I'm terrible at this. Mm. Mm. 
I am wasting so much time right now. You know what? Let's... Okay, we got to do something. We got to do something. Let's see about managing... these cables. How are we going to do this? Okay, that's the longest one. So let's back that out a little. Can we go down and around the side? Straight down from there. Get a little more slack here. Can we get under that? Maybe, maybe, okay, yeah, pull this, Let's see if we can get that under there. Well, it ain't clean, but at least got these fans out of the way so we can continue building. Okay, that's something. We got one thing done. Let's just test fit one of our 1050s under the case to see what it's going to look like. Oh no, a sticker. However, will I open it? This is my friend. Here's our two fan gigabyte GTX 1050 two gig. I haven't actually looked at one of these out of the case yet. It's a nice little fan, nice little fan, nice little card. So how do this, do these things get mounted? Don't tell me that that would be the dumbest idea if they did it that way. Did... These were these. No, 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 no. They can't go. What the fudge? How the hell do they... What the... F There's no way. How the hell is that supposed to go in there? Assume we were. There's no way. How the hell? Who the hell designed this? Wait. Did I put this in exactly backwards of how they think you're supposed to do it? Is this supposed to go over here? No, because... Th oh, there's holes there. Why the f*** didn't they give me instructions? I really don't want to have to take this fucking thing apart, but I might have to. <sighs> I don't want to. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Are these supposed to... Okay. 
Well, looks like we're gonna do some disassembly. That sucks. Okay, here we go. Not happy. Not one bit. Okay, power supplies back out. How are we gonna do this? And this post is stuck to this screw. Wonderful, good, great, grand. the other posts out. You are really in there, aren't you? God damn it. I don't have any pliers around here, do I? Why would I have a valuable tool like that just, you know, in my work area where I need it? And I am not wireless today, so I'm going to have to take my mic off to go out there and find one. <sighs> oh, Jesus. This, is, this, is, this whole 15-minute video so far is a big wash. Well, I can't do anything until I get those out, so... You know what? I'm going to stop the video. Reassess the situation and come back later. And now, before the next show starts, let's enjoy an intermission. You'll find our snack bar chock full of good things to eat and drink. Fortunately, I had two sets of pliers right here in the studio, so we can continue this thing. I know I've been bitching a lot during this build, and I apologize for that. Bitching gets you nowhere in life. The only thing that gets you somewhere is just shutting your mouth and doing the job that you've got to do. That's it. Gets you a lot. Gets you a lot of where you need to be, a lot of what you need to obtain in life. And people will like you a lot more. Just don't bitch if there's a problem. Get to work and solve it. And that's what we're doing here. So our case is empty. Except for the fans. I mean, they're <laughs> the only other things in it were the motherboard and the power supply. But now we've got our empty case, which hopefully you can see. So what I think we need to do is right here, there are notches which look like they line up with the feet on the bottom of the power, su power supply. CPU, GPU. I'm horrible, I really am. So it looks like what they intend is for those to go in there and that's how you line that up. Now this of course isn't exactly going to work because we are using risers, so this will be interesting and we are going to have to get creative because we cannot we really can't those do not line up so we're gonna have to get creative we really are i think they must have built this for a very specific uh, board in mind. I almost feel like they built this for the Octo Miner, although there's only six slots on here, but that's the only thing I can think that would make sense, is if they constructed this for the Octo Miner. Okay, well, let's figure this out.
we are clearly not doing this by design anymore. So what we have to do is we have to make it work for us. Okay, it will not go there because we do not have the mounts. Sorry if you're not gonna be able to see this, but what if I flip this around? Would that, op would that leave room at this end for the cards? If I like caddy womp ass or spin this around from how it was more this way, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a, what if this goes sideways? Like that. It can't go sideways. It falls off the case. <sighs> I am so confused by this thing. I waited so long for this board, for this case, so I could mount this equipment. And this clearly, this case was not designed with this board in mind. Those line up and nothing else does. Those line up and nothing else does. There is literally only one way that this board can go, and that's the way that I had it, which is like this. That, more or less, is the only way that this board will go in this case. Send with that there. Power supply's there. Uh. But there's no way to hold the cards in. Can't go down like that. No, there's no other place to put the power supply. If the power supply isn't in here, then what's the whole, then what's the point of this being in all in one case? Okay, we're gonna take out one of these single fan 1050s. I guess looking at size and seeing if there's any difference there. I haven't really looked at this since I put it in the, the 1060 case. That's just for shits and giggles. So it does fit right in there beside it. What are all those holes at the top for? God, I wish they gave me instructions. This whole thing just makes no Dang sense. Let's just set this motherboard aside. For a second. So that can't go. Yeah, that's why I that's why I didn't do that. It will not go that way. And our main camera shut off. <laughs> okay, so our main camera just shut off. Um this is absolutely a sign. <sighs> I was not thinking when I left this off, when I left this process off for a couple of days, that coming back to it was gonna be this complicated. I, I thought I had this figured out. I really did. But now here we are. It's pretty much, <laughs> except for the fans, it's taken everything out. I do not understand this case. The one thing that seems to be clear is that this is where they want the cards to go. I'm not even gonna bother with moving the camera around because this probably isn't gonna make the cut anyway, but they want the cards to go in these slots, I think. And if that's the case, then this must need or require a different motherboard because this will not fit. At least not the way the holes are designed and not the way that it's laid out. Why are all these holes up here? I'm frustrated. I'm very frustrated right now. Frustrated that the market's down. I'm frustrated that I put off finishing this thing. They're sitting here and every single day they're sitting here. I'm losing potential money and it's going to be an 
every day is another day where I'm not recouping my investment on it. And I bought this frame because I thought that was going to make it easier. And either I'm just way overthinking it and making it much more difficult than it is or has to be, or the little column B, whatever that is. And okay, I'm going to stop filming because I don't know what I'm doing right now and I'm just wasting time. Okay, see you later. Okay, so I did sort of figure this out. I put the thing back together exactly how it had been, undoing pretty much everything that I did so far in the video, and tried alternate placements of the fans, thinking that perhaps that would be the way that I could fix this damn thing. And I think I might have figured it out. So whereas before I had put the cases inside the frame so it you know looped around like that and I snugged the fans in here like this so it was all nice and flush what I did is so say that's where it was and that's how it hooked in I mounted them to the back and in doing that it kind of looks like this it sticks out but the advantage to that is it frees up enough space so that the card can sit right here. You can screw it in there. There's clearance between that and the fan. There's clearance between the bottom for the riser. And I can theoretically fit even more cards in here than my motherboard can hold. So maybe, indeed, this was made, this frame was made for the, uh, the Octominer for eight cards. So I'm going to finish moving these fans around and then see if I can get the rest of this done. I'm not going to film this in case I hit any other snags, but I think this video is going to be long enough as is. But you get the idea of what I'm doing, so I will come back and check back in as soon as I have this done. All right, got some good news. I've got what issues I had seemingly smoothed out and made quite a decent amount of progress. I didn't turn the camera on because it actually needs to be charged and the last thing I wanted was to be doing this, have the camera die and then have to stop before I was ready to stop. So I'm ready to stop now. So I decided to turn the camera on and let you guys see what I figured out. I'm then gonna charge the camera for a couple hours and probably come back and see if I can't get this thing finished tonight before I go to bed. Just to give you a peek, we've got the fans mounted on the front where they should be, which gave us space to mount cards. Hey, 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 look at that. We got three of our 1050s in here. We got the single fan at the end so that it has a little more airflow. I got the two uh, twin fan 1050s right next to each other. I'm probably just going to squeeze the other single fan right in here, but look at all the space it's left me. Holy crap. I've got one other 1050 and my 1066 gig to go in here, but I could easily put another two cards in here after those are already in. The big issue is going to be PCI space because I've only got six slots. But now that I've got this figured out, this is a pretty good case for what I need it to be. Considering the fact that it seems like it'll hold eight cards, I think my next rig might have to be an Octominer. Maybe an Octominer with just all 1050s in it. That'd be, in, that'd be intense. Yeah, why not? Can an Octominer just, Octominer 1050 rig just balls to the wall and then, well, not really, but you know, all 1050s and then put my 1066 gig in here. I may end up pick, picking up another 1060. They seem to be coming down a little in price, but we'll see. And basically anything with a little more power into it. I also want to pick up some AMD cards because I am team red after all, but everything I have is Nvidia. So maybe I'll put, maybe I'll make this a, my original janky ass mining rig. Maybe I'll make it my melting pot rig. 
I'll have a couple NVIDIAs, a couple AMDs, just for fun. Why not? All right, got to get this camera charged. I'll come back in a few hours and see if I can't finish this up.